we're going to talk about this disagreement they have. Tamar told her side of the story. And she said that she was on Watch What Happens Live with Andy. Andy asked her a question. She answered it. Candy got pissed. I believe personally that there's more to the story than that because Candy knows what it is when you go and watch what happens live. That's her home. Bravo is her home. And she knows that Andy is messy boots. She knows that Andy is going to try and turn Patty LaBelle against Diana Ross and vice versa. That's what they do. But you see how Patty LaBelle handled it. He, he tried to turn Patty against, not turn against, but the questions is how you answer it, Tamar, because he asked some very specific questions about Diana Roth and Aretha Franklin and Patty LaBelle answered it with class. If you and Candy mended your situation, I would have said I plead the fifth and or I would have answered it in a way where we can keep our friendship neutral. You can't be like, well, I'm real and I'm this and I'm that, I'm that, da, 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 Because that's what's going to get you in trouble. And then you're going to say you've changed and you want to put that in our face that you've changed and you're working on yourself. No, when you change, we tell you you change. But, oh, you know what? We've seen her do a lot of work. She really has grown from when she used to get in it with her sisters and da, 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 and everything. But your track history is confrontation. Candy's is not. She's been on a whole reality show for 15 years, 14 years, and that's her job is to have confrontation. And she's really not that confrontational. And she doesn't have outside beefs like that except for Phaedra. And she that's not a beef. She just can't stand Phaedra breathing. That's not a beef. She, just, she feels that Phaedra did her wrong and her character, like trying to come for her character, her business. And you already know you don't mess with 10 of Candy's dollars, not 10 Bitch, where's my change? So, I think that's why, you know, they, she and Phaedra got into it. Now, with Candy and Tamar, I feel that Candy feels that there should be some type of loyalty because, hey, Tamar, I have known you before the Real Housewives. I've known you for years. And then you're going to go on my network. This ain't We TV. This is Bravo. And you're going to come in there and say whatever it is you said. But I don't feel that it was sister-like, so I'm not going to mess with you. And you know, Candy's a tourist. Either they F with you or they don't. There's no either. Are you pregnant or are you not pregnant? It's one or the other. It's like, well, maybe. No, go in there and pee on the stick. Are you pregnant or you're not pregnant? So, I think that's what Candy is like. We're not going to be flopping in and out of the friendship. Either we friends or we not. I think sometimes Tamar just... You know, I've seen her do it with her sisters. She, she'll put pressure on a wound and then turn it around like she's the victim. I wasn't there. I don't know. But, you know, we already know that Tamar, she has a personality to make us see her point. Another thing, Tamar even got into it with Ayala Van Zandt. Who gets into it with Ayala Van Zandt except for DMX and that other little girl who got taken at birth? Those are the only three people that we know got into it with Ayala Van Zandt. So if you get into it with Ayala Van Zandt, Ayala was like, who, who gets to tone this down? Who, who stops this? Tony Braxton said, it ain't me. Shit, let me turn my head. And Mama Evelyn, she said, you say another word. You say one more word. I love Mama Evelyn. Yeah, so let's get to when Tamar said that Todd came up to her. Let's get to it. We get into it. She she said I your I was threatened by a guy. Okay, so you know what it is is not a threat. I can take the you know what it is like you know what it is like don't come over here and try to hug my wife after you done said some some side shit you know what I'm saying like you know what it is she she go you know and Candy apparently it was on site because you know how them tourists are my dad was a tourist when he feel when they feel you betrayed them they goes and they go ballistic because tourists are are big babies now they whoop your ass they crazy but. But for the most part, they're big teddy bears. They just want to love. They, their bark is bigger than their bite. And when you mishandle them, they have an issue with that. 
they'd be like, well, I thought you was my girl. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know that if somebody asked Gail something about Oprah, she would not have answered it like that. She probably would say, well, I've known Oprah for years and I have never known Oprah a lie. But in my mind, I think Tamar was trying to keep both sides open because she was like, well, look, Carlos King. She was talking about the Carlos King because she said, I don't know if Carlos King tried to steal their story, but we also don't know Candy being a liar. So I feel that when she said, I don't know if Carlos King sold the story, she was leaving the door open, the back door open in case she ever needs a job for Carlos King in the reality world. Because he can create a show and put her on a on a show if you know what i'm saying you got to keep your your doors open and sometimes you step on your friend's feet and that's what happened and she must value the carlos king more than she value her friendship with candy apparently but one thing i don't understand is tamar getting online saying that candy can't sing like First of all, like we already know, Tamar can sing through her esophagus. Her whole throat is music. But I just, you got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like I have never even heard Patti LaBelle do that on people who have hurt her to the core. James Brown, he, he put the curtain on. When Patti LaBelle was singing with, with Nona and the girls, he said, put the curtains down on them bitches. Like they were shades on a window. He said that. He said, put the curtain down on them bitches because they was hitting them notes. You never walk on my... And here come the curtain. Boom. At the Apollo. And I came out of Patti LaBelle, Patricia Holt's mouth. Okay? So what I'm saying is Patti still has never said anything horrible. Like, she'll just say, I don't want to... Like, Patti LaBelle cannot stand Barbara Streisand, in my opinion. But she'll just say... I won't answer that question. Move on. That's keeping it classy. You already know Aretha Franklin shaded Patti LaBelle at that White House when Patti LaBelle reached for Aretha and she was like, don't touch me. I don't like you and you know that. And don't act like we're at the White House that I'm going to smile in your face. I don't mess with you like that, honey. That's what I got out of it. Out of that. But... Then Patty LaBelle turned it around and helped her. She said, well, maybe she wasn't feeling so good that day. And that very well may be true. But all I'm saying is there's a way, a politically correct way to answer a question when it comes to someone that you're an associate with, a friend with, or you have dealings with. They work together. They're both on the same tour. I'm going to go see them in two weeks. We're going to go see Escape in two weeks and Tamar is going to be there. What I pray is not going to happen is one of them say, I cannot do this tour with her anymore and fuck up the whole thing. Because I'm here. I want to hear, I'm thinking about you all the way home. And then I also want to, who, uh, who can I run to? Like, I want to hear it. So don't mess up the music with y'all's ego. Like, I love them both. Now, back to Candy. When the people say she can't sing, okay, can you harmonize with that group like that? Like, she can harmonize. If she couldn't sing to me, like I said, I, she, I'm not saying Candy can sing like Jennifer Hudson, but once again, Jennifer Hudson can't write no scrubs and bills, 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 and because if she could, she would. She would write it for herself. Maybe Jennifer Hudson needs Candy to write some songs for her. I love me some Jennifer, but we need, we need some writing. Candy is very valid in the industry, and she definitely is in the history books because most of the songs we like... Back in uh, when Destiny Shaw came out, she wrote, hey, ladies, hey, ladies, why is it that men can go do what's wrong? And I'm so good, so good, so good. I'm feeling so, 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 so. Candy wrote it. Okay. And that's like everybody who's a choreographer can't dance. And Candy's like, kiss my ass and don't miss this, but she pretty much don't care. But everybody who can choreograph cannot dance. Let's be clear. But there's some badass choreographers out there. Abby Lee Miller. She sits on her ass all day long telling the kids to do pirouettes, jetés, and releves. I need you to do four releves.